as you can probably tell we just woke up <laughs> uh, we're in the middle of the woods somewhere not too far from Vernon and this is where we slept you can see my cot right here yep and I'm standing on Clinton's ground but I didn't have a cot essentially I want to go into the bush to find a nice place to be one with nature so we talked to the lovely people at the grocery store and they recommended that we go down Beaver Creek. Ladies and gentlemen, this may be the last message recorded by the Road to Employment team. We are too cheap to go to a hostel, the church was closed, and we have no other resort but to journey down this long road to, to Beaver, Beaver Lake. Lake. Make sure to get a shot of us. It's off-road. The GPS knows not where we are. Hello. My family, I love you. <laughs> I'm so sorry, mother and father, for for doing this. <laughs> but this is how it must oh. be. Look at the potholes. This is a crazy road. No car was meant to drive. After traveling nine kilometers on a very sketchy dirt road, we wound up at a camping site. Not really where we wanted to. Yeah, and there was no way to get access to the lake, so we just kind of crashed on the road because so, it was getting dark. <laughs> yeah, it was it was dark. It was about 10:30 at night, and we we tried sleeping in the car, but I wanted more leg room, so I came out here and we sprawled out. And literally, I don't know if you can see the dirt. We'll film it later, I guess. But it's literally just like a road with like <laughs> rocks and whatnot. Rocks and whatnot, and the bugs and the mosquitoes. You know, and that, that was the most thing. It wasn't the mosquito biting me. It was literally this thing was just rotating around my head for most of the night going Mrrr. And it's like, I am very ear sensitive. Like I need like quiet when I sleep. Like ticking clocks piss me off. Like mosquitoes drive me crazy. <laughs> so then eventually I was just like, enough of this ground business. My neck's gonna die. So I went back to the car and I ditched Dennis. So that was our day yesterday. But I, uh, on, on a positive note, we met with uh, Garnet from mm. the forestry industry. You know, my second year we were doing rap attack, which is very specialized. So it's rap attack is where you fly in with a medium-sized helicopter, and it's it's usually tough access. So they'll throw a rope out of the helicopter, and you rappel down it, and then you create access by building helipads, or or you go directly to the fire if it's small. You just you know, attack the fire directly. Sounds so like something from the action movie. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> you don't go upside down though. <laughs> Forestry sounds pretty cool, actually. So we're gonna be putting together a little something, something about that, maybe. Mm -hmm. We'll see. But before that, we're gonna hit the pool and clean up, so yeah. we don't look like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. So overall, positive experience, right? Positive experience. We yeah. didn't get eaten by a bear or anything, so <laughs> I'll call that a win. Yeah. I'll call that a win. Hey guys, thanks for watching Road to Employment or the making of Road to Employment. Remember to follow us on all our social media channels, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Tumblr, and visit our website www.roadtoemployment.ca. And thanks to the prankster that set this up, we were expecting a home in Kelowna and only to come there and then realize that, oh, there's nothing waiting for us there, so you know. So make sure to stay tuned for all the wacky adventures and expert advice on Road to Employment. <laughs>